This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Down, and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, May the 4th. He's not a Star Wars character. No, he's a former NHLer who played for Buffalo, Dallas, Vancouver, St. Louis, Nashville, and Edmonton. Second round pick from Buffalo in the 2001 NHL draft. He's now 39 years old. He plays a lot of games, and he. You're thinking, wait a minute, a journeyman? You come on, Jeff. Why are you doing a journeyman? Well, for one simple reason. As everyone should know, I'm a Blue Jay file, a Raptor file, a Leaf file, Maple Leaf file, a Patriot file, but most of all, I am a Ranger, a Ranger file, not the New York Rangers, but the most famous word, <clears throat> Kitchener! Derek Roy. That's right. Derek Roy, part of the tri triumphant Kitchener Rangers squad of 2003 Memorial Cup. Anyway, Derek Roy was drafted to the Kitchener Rangers of the OHL. He scored 87 points and was the OHL Rookie of the Year. And then again, he put up a great performance the next season. And Buffalo said, you know what, screw it. Let's take him 32nd overall in the 2001 NHL draft. So he was in the second round. Not bad. Now, I just wanted, I just wanted to see... Um, who stupidly decided that Derek Roy was not worthy of it. He was a center. So, let's see. Ottawa took Jason Spezza. Okay, fair enough. Tampa took Alex Spitoff. What a bust. Florida took Stephen Weiss. He was decent, but he was a bust. Minnesota took Miku Koivu, six. That's a center. That was a smart move. Chicago took Tumo Rutu. Ninth overall as a center. Okay, that sounds okay. And then there was a center till San Jose took Marcel Gotch, 20th overall. Okay. Buffalo took Yuri Novotny from the Czech Republic. Yuck. And New Jersey took Adrian Foster. Ooh. And the Kings took Dave Steckel. Nah, okay. But anyway, it was the second pick in the second round. Tampa... Well, Buffalo got a pick from Tampa, and they took Derek Roy. After Matthew Spiller was drafted 31st overall. So Derek Roy was 32nd overall. When you look at the other centers in the second round, other than Mike Camilleri Jay Mc, and Jay McClemmons, it worked out. So anyway, Buffalo drafted him, and he was allowed to play in the OHL. He would play in the Sabres in the preseason games, but basically he, wa he went back to the OHL. The same side he could use one more year in the OHL. And boy, howdy, he did. He got the Kitchener Rangers to the OHL Championship in 2003. It was a great time to be a Kitchener Ranger fan, if you will. Kitchener had 100 points, the best team in the Western Conference. They swept Sault Ste. Marie. They took Guelph out in five. They had a tough time with Plymouth. Plymouth actually took Kitchener to a Game 7. They were actually up three games to two on a goal by Jimmy Gangon, who used to play for Kitchener. But Kitchener took care of the Michigan squad, winning game six in Plymouth and winning game seven on home turf. And, of course, Peter DeBoer, who was the coach GM of Kitchener Rangers, used to do it for Plymouth. Kitchener would face Ottawa in the OHL final. Ottawa won game one in overtime in Kitchener, but Kitchener would win two overtime games in Ottawa on their way to winning the series in five games. What a time for Derek Roy to be part of that famous 2003 M Cup moment. I wonder if I have it as my. Yeah. Oh shoot! I don't know. I've I have to check my homepage again for the 2003 team. When did they win the Memorial Cup? That was May the 25th. Okay, so I got to make sure that. I do something for that on May 25th, so that's what I'm going to do. Make sure Mem Cup is taped 2003. Anyway, Derek Roy helped the 
the Rangers went getting 33, 32 points in 21 playoff games and was actually the MVP of the Mem Cup. So then he went to the minor league affiliate Rochester to play. He was too old to play in the OHL. He was an overager. So anyway, he looked good and after some great job in the AHL, the NHL called him up and he did okay, 19 points in 49 games in the rookie season. He went back to the AHL, of course, because of the 2005 lockout. He couldn't make the Sabres at a trade camp, but he was recalled to the Sabres after a great performance. He wouldn't play, he would play well and got 15 points as the Sabres in the playoffs were chasing Carolina for the conference final, but they lost in game seven. Dirk Roy would improve himself and actually score the fastest goal to start a playoff game in franchise history, nine seconds into game four as the Sabres took on the Senators in Ottawa. So the Sabres got shocked by Ottawa because the Sabres were the best team in the Eastern Conference that year, and Ottawa shocked them to win the series in five and to go to the Stanley Cup final that year before the Ducks got them. Anyway, in his first season under the new contract, under Derek Roy's new six-year contract, Roy would lead the Sabres in points with 81 and second in goals with 32. The Sabres had problems. After Chris Drury and Danny Breer left for the Rangers and Flyers, respectively, they were just shocked and all that. Like, you know, they had they destroyed that team. And that was the last time the Sabres won a playoff series was 2007. And the last time they made playoffs was 2011, which is now an NHL record. Fight me on that. Anyway, yeah. The Sabres would lose Game 7 in the quarterfinals to Philly, and it was the last playoff game in Sabres history up to this point. The Sabres didn't think that Roy was good enough, and then by the end of his contract, they decided to trade him to Dallas and in exchange for Steve Ott and Adam Purdy. Roy would only play in 30 games for Dallas in the 2013 season because of the lockout. And then before the season ended, he actually got traded to Vancouver in exchange for a second round draft pick. Roy wouldn't do much for Vancouver, and then he went to St. Louis on a one-year $4 million contract. He was a free agent again and then signed with Nashville for one year $1 million in 2014. And then Nashville traded him to Edmonton for Mark Arcobello. Who the hell? Roy was actually given a tryout with Washington, but was cut after the last game of the preseason. So he went to Switzerland to play for SC Bern and helped them win the Swiss League Championship. In 2016, he signed with Omsk of the KHL. And then he was traded to Trektor Ship Silibinsk in 2016. So anyway, Derek Roy... Played for the 2003 Canadian team at the World Juniors, getting the silver medal. Of course, in his last year of junior, he won the Men Cup. He would only he would play in two. He would win two medals in his international career: gold for the Canada squad at the Davo, at the Spengler Cup in Davos, and was part of the bronze medal squad in 2018 in Pyeongchang. Derek Roy is bilingual. I mean, his last name is like Wa. So in four seasons with Kitchener, he did fantastic for them. Yeah, it was like not so much. He ended his hockey career with Munich in the German League after playing a few years with Lincoln in the Swedish League. In the NHL, he would only score 189 goals, 524 points in 738 games. And in 49 playoff games, he would score only seven playoff goals. Not really that great. Anyway, he was great internationally and all that. He would play for Canada for a couple of world championships, getting silver medals. But anyway, yeah, he was an icon and all that. He didn't really do anything big in the NHL except try to help the Sabres out in their everlasting quest for perfection, but they failed. But Derek Roy is still a 2003 Kitchener Ranger, and that's why I like him. And I wish I had a jersey with his number nine on it. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.